But first, another reason we're in Roma is to talk to Tim Emery from DEDI, the Queensland Government's Department of Employment, Economic Development and Innovation. When NLIS was first adopted in Australia back in 1999, its primary use was as traceback technology opening the doors of the European market to Australian exports. But there's plenty to be gained using the technology to help improve production efficiency way before your cattle step off your property. Data is gold when it comes to managing your business. If you can measure, compare and analyse, you can probably tweak your way to productivity improvements. And while the National Livestock Identification System provides confidence and security from a health and disease perspective, many producers are using it to streamline their data collection and the benefits stack up. Objective, accurate information or data um, at an increased kind of speed helps with the processing there, identifying those non-performing animals, helping you to meet market specifications better, being able to identify you know, the production um, capacity of different um, paddocks through looking at the live weight gain, tracking different breeds and vendors, the list goes on. Tim Emery has spent the past three years heading a producer demonstration site on the use of NLIS technology. We look to try and get the management benefits of NLIS, so this NLIS technology that we're using, what are the management and financial benefits that can better our beef businesses. The 22 businesses examined various options in equipment and software, as well as exploring how other aspects of the industry use NLIS. We went to the sale yards, we went to a feedlot, we went to the abattoir, we went to yeah, seed stock producers and just saw how all those different elements of, of the supply chain were, were capitalising on this NLIS technology. Participants visited properties already incorporating NLIS into their data collection, including Reg and Jackie Carlisle's 4,900 hectare breeding and fattening operation. Herd recording has been something that interested me and it's been a bit of a, a passion. We breed our own bulls on the property and uh, herd recording is really necessary if you're doing that. Some of the things we find very useful with the, uh, using NLIS tags and with the herd recording program is initially with our calves and our cows and matching up our breeders and looking at their genetics and herd selectivity. Um, it's also then um, when we buy in steers, all their information goes onto the um, computer as well. Reg and Jackie emphasise it's not what you use to collect the data, it's what you do with that data that counts. But a system that saves time and labour while reducing the potential for error has many benefits. This is a book I used to um, put the initial data into and then we'd come home and transcribe it into uh, a neater format and now it's straight from the um, reader and into the computer and out with the printer. The Carlisles mother up all their calves to record performance and weight gain data. NLIS tagging means they no longer tattoo calves as a backup to their visual tag ID system. Drafting has also become faster and easier, incorporating a panel reader and air drafter. With the true test scales we've got, we can have automatic hands-free weighing and the NLIS tags are the critical, crucial part of that. I mean, the hands-free weighing really does save a lot of time. The system reduces double handling and minimises error in data entry. The animal data goes in here, you take home, there's a nice little zip thing on the computer, it goes straight across and in 10 seconds it's done. It's all on the computer. Information at an animal level allows analysis of how and why some cattle perform better or worse than others, leading to better business decisions. The improvements from the um, herd recording have been identifying the poorer performing breeders in the herd and over a number of years we've eliminated or culled a lot of those cows and in, when we do our weaning now we only wean once, there's no sort of tail to the herd. But it hasn't all been a walk in the park. In the beginning with a particular type of tag we had lots of losses. The beast has to have the new tag put in and, uh, and what should be a good flow of cattle through the race is getting pulled up every 10, 15, 20 minutes by, by a lost tag and, and the complications are going back in and, and uh, replacing that tag in the electronic database. Tag retention is a problem Reg believes depends on the brand of tag and the location in the ear. I think if the tags are put in that middle, middle of the ear, halfway along the length of the ear, we do get less losses. 
The technology allows for plenty of flexibility with the amount of information recorded completely up to you. You can record all your health records, you can put whether or not you've implanted them with a HGP, you can say if you vaccinate them, and this helps for auditing purposes, and then also some of the linking back to carcass, you know, linking your carcass feedback. And so through that you could identify, you know, why didn't these particular animals meet the grade. So NLIS isn't just about the movement of a stock from property to property. There are many ways that the data collected can be used to improve your operation. Tim's PDS has shown producers firsthand how that's possible. We had four people adopt the technology, which was absolutely terrific. And since the conclusion of the project, we've, we've spoken with them and they're all utilising the technology and, and some are looking to, to, go, further, to go further with it. Um, yeah, they're, they're reaping the benefits. If you're thinking of using NLIS for herd analysis, the advice is tailor the technology to your circumstances. First of all, kind of know what your business and breeding objectives are and then identify the key profit drivers within your business and from there work out what you need to actually, what data you need to collect and then talk to definitely to those people that are utilising it and reaping the benefits. With NLIS already a cost to producers, getting a return on that investment makes sense. Once you start capturing that information, you know where you're at and then can just go forward from there.